I took the decision. He thought it would make things clear, and in a way, it did. He has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming, yes. Unbecoming? He was a sex offender? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite, um, in the sense that he was a sex offender. It has been described as car crash television, as the saga of the prince and the paedophile takes another extraordinary turn. Why was Prince Andrew staying at the New York home of a convicted paedophile? Why does he still imply this photo is faked? I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady. None whatsoever. You don't remember meeting her? No. I, I, I have no recollection of ever meeting her. Um, uh, I'm almost, in fact, I'm convinced um, that I was never in Tramps with her. Tramp is a nightclub, and the lady he's talking about was then 17 and called Virginia Roberts. This is what she said recently. He knows what he's done, and he can attest to that, so... The Duke of York says he's done nothing wrong, and he saw nothing wrong at the home of convicted paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. This summer, the billionaire took his own life as he awaited another court case. The Duke does express regret for staying at Epstein's home in 2010. That's the bit that, 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 that um, as it were, I kick myself for on a daily basis. Dickie Arbiter is a former Buckingham Palace press secretary and has worked with Prince Andrew. I wasn't surprised that he didn't express compassion at all. The interview was all about him. It wasn't about anybody else. It was about him, uh, his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, that he thought he was doing the right thing, that he saw nothing wrong with being friends with Jeff Jeffrey Epstein, denying that he ever knew uh, Virginia Roberts Guffrey, and yet there's a photograph. Uh, it was all about him and not about anybody else. And that's the mark of the man in your experience? That is the mark of the man. A lawyer representing some of Epstein's victims told Five News no house guest could have missed what was going on. Sometimes two to three young girls a day going in and out of his home just here in Palm Beach. Any visitor to that home would have been easily able to notice the volume of young girls going in and out. And if they thought this would resolve anything, the prince and his advisers have been proven catastrophically wrong.